Good evening, you lovely people. It's your boy, Mr. Life, back here once again with some food for thought, man. So, I just had a conversation with a great friend of mine. He's a brother. And uh, he was telling me that he's working with this company. He and, and please let me preface this by saying that he's in sales. So, he was telling me that one of the top producers, one of their top producers made roughly about 35000 last month working four days a week and he came and said that he made 10 grand you know in that same month and he said that he felt kind of not jealous but he was a little bit envious of the guy and thought that he wasn't actually motivated enough to actually work so I told him like this I said man check this out the greatest basketball player playing right now is definitely LeBron James and I said that he's the top guy on their team and he's making the top dollar you know in the Lakers and then I said there's also another 11 guys on that team as well and none of them are making the same thing that he's making and then I told him out of those 11 guys all of, the, all of those guys are still extremely wealthy they're making great money. So I asked him, like, do you want to be LeBron James or do you want to just be one of those 11? Because let's think about it. If you are one of those 11 players on that team, you are still in the top 5 to 10% of money makers in the world at that point in time. I really want you to think about that. Because you can be great and not be the greatest. Don't never let another man's pockets influence what you want to do. We don't do pocket watching over here. We go out, we get our home, and we keep it moving. And I told him at making 10 grand a month, that's $120,000 a year. And $120,000 a year for a black man, a single black man in America, that still, that puts you in the top 10% of earners, and that puts you in the top 5% of black men earners in America. That's still a great feat. So continue to work hard, be who you wanna be, and continue on your grind. Life out.